So what we basically do, what we've been doing, is just finding a nice little clearing, so to speak, with some interspersed trees, and then kind of building a box around the uh, the tree we're going to set the collar in. So we set three nets here, and then one in front, and then you just set the collar on the ground, turn it on, and we've been catching them high and low. Some uh, these sawwits, we've been catching them really low lately. Oh wow! Okay. So what we do is, is we just take them and then we you got to string them on these loops here. And uh, you gotta string them on. And there's generally five panels, so the mist net's made of uh, five panels of this mesh, and each each panel forms a pouch. Just string them on. Well, half of our captures have come about this level. Half of them have come about knee height, where the owl gets caught. For some reason, these little sawets like to come in uh, pretty low. Here's the saddle, and then the in between these poles is the are the mist nets, and we'll put a owl call box uh, in the center, and you can see the owls have. Plenty of perches, which we hear are good for trapping owls because they like to fly from perch to perch. Here's another shot of the net. There's Kate up there. And it's shaped like an H. She's made three nets. Matt's about to place the Fox Pro owl collar inside the mist nets. And when an owl comes to check it out, He'll be caught in the net, and then we'll catch him and band him, if all works out as we hope. You collect feathers? Yeah. How come? For DNA. For, you know, recent DNA technology, you can get really good stuff out of feathers, so we just take, it's easier than taking blood. Mm -hmm. But we're going to take blood too, because blood's the best. But mm -hmm. We just take it for, um, basically DNA to look, just look at, like, sex mainly, you know, because a lot of times with these owls, with flams in particular, you can't, they're, they're the least sexually dimorphic of any owl in North America, so you can't tell them apart in the hand, so we take feathers just to sex them, basically. Hmm. Matt just turned on the saw wet call, and I'm gonna do a pan north to Missoula, and you can see the mist nets. Now we're gonna back off and come back every 45 minutes to check the nets. Way to go. We've got an owl. And that's untangling the owl from the net. He was right on the ground. Look how far he is from the ground. Yeah, he was on the ground. He First gotta capture. Look at the, gotta nice. look at the owl. Awesome. Do you have a headlamp? No. Okay. First owl. Another owl. Yeah. Matt's untangling one owl while Kerr has a second owl. It's amazing how calm these owls are. Yeah. Got hey, that, that looks like a littler one than the other one. Yeah, there's sawwood owls are pretty dimorphic. Um. Wow, how nice of him not to bite you. I can't believe that. Oh. So sawwood owls are pretty sexually dimorphic, so there is, mm. you know, mass especially in sawwood owls. Uh, Mm -hmm. Females are noticeably larger. I would Ooh, call this probably. Together. Can we? Where are they going to eat each other? See, these look like two little males to me. Mm. The this, one's, are this one's slightly larger, but oh yeah, well, it, there's quite a bit of overlap. Yeah, I don't know how well it'll show up, but the one on the on the right is bigger than the one on the left. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go and take some measurements, weigh them, and Sweet. put a band on them. Or... Well, awesome. Let's go. You see all this pink here? Mm -hmm. You see that pinkish? I think so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. see that? I see it. That's, um, we don't know what that is. If it's a pigment or if it's a, so a lot of people think it's vascularization. And on the bird that we saw last night, that they had two gens, it was only on its molted feathers that we saw that pink. But he's definitely got pink. Mm -hmm. You see that? Uh, all through there. Yeah. yeah.
it might not show up on this, but it's a faint pink tinge to the underwing feathers. Well, okay, dude. Then we just slip this little band right over. Oop, I got it upside down. I'll do that all the time. Then we just slip this little band on and see how it, it twists a little bit. And then what we do, we get these pliers in here. <laughs> And then you just squeeze it ever so gently. You're checking to make sure it slides free now. Yeah, and so we got to get this. Got it together. Got to get this flange um, or this butt end. Is it harder because their feathers go all the way to there? their feet. Yeah. You have the feathers yeah. caught well, in there. And pretty close there. This pretty close, you know, and this, honestly. <coughs> that's not going to snag on its that's, skin. That's about as, as much as you can get her. Because mm -hmm. when you start doing it, this things bounce back. As you can imagine, they, they close it, and once you open it, you can never get it butted together ever again. This this isn't quite good enough, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just going to do a little just kind of give her some and leaving a little band gap like that, about a fingernail is all you want to go. That's a fingernail. Spins freely, goes up and down. It's not going to slide over his ankle. Spins freely. That looks like a good band. With these little wing rules, we always measure left wing. So I just bring her in here. Hey, it's okay, buddy. And then I read her. It's about. Looking about 141. Okay. So now I'm going to get a tail length on him. He's blowing the feathers away there to get it right up to the tail. skin. He's looking about 70, 72. 72 millimeters for his tail. I just go like this, and then you just kind of pull it over, and, and I'm letting go. It's, yeah, stuff him all the way in, turn him upside down. And then um, just kind of let go in like this. He's probably not going to be more than 100 grams, but we might have to use the 300 gram scale. Oh, no, he's just barely, this is the tear weight of this bag is 16, and he's putting, he's at 97. So he's about 80, what, 80 one grams? Yeah. Which is about right for Sawa. So this is like kind of a painful process a little bit. So we just tear out, you know, I don't know, three, four, five feathers, and we try to get them down deep so we can, that's where the DNA is at, is in the calamus of the feather. Mm. So the, all the DNA is down in this part. Mm -hmm. So you want to get it down deep so you can so that's probably good for that guy. And I'll just make a note. Um, feathers taken. Or collected. Cool. You can see right inside his huge ear. All right. I don't know if I can get that. Oh, there it is. Now Kerr's got his yeah, ear. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of. That's so amazing. I'm gonna so where, if, can you point to where his ear would be on the other side? Oh, yeah. oh, it's so far down. Yeah, so those other ones right here. Yeah, you know, you just gotta really I have a skull that I'll, mm -hmm. can film. Not to oh, okay. you know, bust see that plant or, you know, gap it underneath each other or else mm -hmm. you just like... I have this little feather. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just a little out there. I'm gonna fix it. Okay, on three. One, two, three, go. Here's the third the owl of the night. We just caught about 45 minutes after the first two. Somebody look it in the face though. There we go. There's owl number three. And we just think we heard another uh, owl number four. So a pretty good sight would have on average you three know, or four. This is a good start. 
<laughs> get started. Get started. <laughs> All right. Ready? Ready. There you go. Oh, oh my God, that is so. Whoa! Oh. That's a cool red. Look at the hover. Okay, we got Philip <clears throat> releasing his saw white owl. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Philip. <laughs> this is owl number five. five. Owl number five. Owl, and we have Cinco. Owl number six has been heard, potentially. Okay, here we go. Oh, Philip, you've got a friend. <laughs> Go away, Al. Fly away. Yeah, he kind of likes you, villain. Yeah, it's a warm spot. <laughs> she might be planning her route of attack. I get in my <laughs> eyeball the fastest route. Okay. You might have to give her just a little. Whoa! <laughs> Once again, Philip is the owl whisperer. It refuses to fly. You can stay. Here, I need to lift my hand up real slow. Okay. Owl number seven. Rock release. Here he comes. You ready? No. Okay. I'm ready whenever you are. You gotta get him to look at me though. Come on, look at me, owl. Hey, owl. There you go. No, you're not ready for that one. Hold on. You were clawing onto me at the same time. This was the, was this the eighth bird? Eighth bird. Eighth this is our eighth sawet, maybe female. And she's quite feisty. She cut Matt pretty well. <laughs> oh yeah, you got me good. <laughs> and she's actually pretty clawed into my ring finger right now, so I'm gonna try and remove that before I try to, oh no, she took care of that, good. Okay, <laughs> we ready to go? Ready. All right, here we go.